the ruling African National Congress says it is incumbent upon the United States leadership to ensure that racial tensions in that country are nipped in the bud. This was the party's reaction to how U.S. President Donald Trump reacted to racial clashes in Virginia. South Africa fought for years to rid itself of a system based on white supremacy. CGTN's Yoli Sanjamela with more. It's been 23 years since the first multiracial national general elections in South Africa. But racism is still rife in this country, to an extent that government has now begun social cohesion dialogues hoping to unify the nation. The ruling African National Congress is cautioning the U.S. to guard against letting the racial tensions simmer. The ANC says, based on the South African context, the party has learned the hard way that it takes decades to heal wounds from racial divisions. As South Africans, we've got a history of a very racially divided society, a society that was based on hatred, on bigotry and prejudice. And so, therefore, we don't theorize uh, around racial hatred and the damage that it can cause within a society. So we are calling on Americans and the leadership of America never to want to be neutral in such a situation. We must always take sides. We must always stand with those who want uh, 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 the universal principles of justice, of a common humanity. Sangoni says U.S. President Donald Trump would be best placed not to blame both sides of the divide or maintain neutrality on the matter. As the ANC, we continue to believe that South Africa and indeed the world belongs to all who live in it, whether they are black or white. So we are hoping that there will be no space in society in general for any of such uh, white supremacy acts as what we've seen in Charleston in the U.S. A position where you want to maintain neutrality and, uh, and uh, blame both sides is not assisting the problem. It is not addressing the issue that white supremacy must be defeated wherever it rears its head. And many agree. Honestly, it just makes me really sad um, because it's, it's a nation that was supposed to be built on bringing people from all over the world. I mean, it says it on the base of the Statue of Liberty to send me your hungry and your destitute and all of that. I think that Trump is basically encouraging the situation by not saying that these people are wrong. I just think um, racism is not correct at all. All people have the same rights. I mean, color doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we should stand together. We shouldn't choose sides. International Affairs Department wouldn't comment on this matter. Yuri Sanjamela, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.